Hey what's up guys, my name is Faison, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to wind up your helicopter. Now of course you need a fuselage, some rotors, rubber bands, and a winder. Now this winder I'm showing you right now is a 15 to 1 winder and you usually you use a at least a 10 to 1 to 20 to 1 winder and what that basically means is every time you turn this handle you get 20 rotations of the output and this just makes it super easy to wind your rubber bands and get everything set up at competitions. Real quick before we get into the winding process I just want to go over these little heads that you might have saw in the how to build a helicopter fuselage video. Now this head right here is able to connect onto these hubs on the rotors and it's very simple and very convenient it makes it easy to transport your helicopter and if you have any adjustments to your rotor you don't have to destroy anything and start from scratch so just like that it connects really easily now you can find these hubs on freedomflightmodels.com slash parts and they are pretty cheap I believe it's under a dollar for like a pair of both and the website's great link is in the description it's a safe website use it multiple times and um, yeah highly recommend it if you are participating in helicopters or right stuff they work really well so here is the helicopter fully assembled with both rotors on and a unwinded rubber band so if you look closely at the rubber band on the helicopter you notice that there is this rubber band knot that is relatively close to the center. Now this is pretty important for helicopters because this knot has a tendency to get stuck onto the fuselage. So if that knot is closer to one rotor, then that rotor will have fewer turns to use and you will get a poor flight time. So you want to make sure that knot is relatively close to the fuselage center. Now another thing to keep in mind is that sometimes if your rubber band breaks it has a tendency to get stuck onto these threads on the side of the fuselage and that might end up ruining your helicopter so you want to be make sure you're cautious when winding. Now to actually wind your helicopter you want to do it with two people. This is a two person event and you really get a lot of benefit if you try and have a partner help you. So what you want to do is you want to have one person, your partner, hold the rubber band on one hook. Right, so you see me grabbing this hook, the rubber band and the hook, pretty firmly, and then you take off the rubber band and you connect that to the winder. Now it's hard for me to really demonstrate this because I'm all by myself, but ideally you'd have one person uh, firmly holding the helicopter and another person winding it and when you're winding it you want to make sure you're stretching out pretty far now the when you're stretching out the rubber I mean you know a few feet apart like five to eight feet and it may seem surprising when you wind it but it really is possible so you see me winding that with a 15 to 1 winder and um, the amount of winds you put in is going to be dependent on your specific rubber and the length that it is, but yeah, you see me fail right here, but yeah, that's basically how you go about winding. Now another thing I wanted to go over was O-rings. Now again, you can find that on the Freedom Flight Models website, and basically O-rings are something that makes it a lot easier to unhook and hook your rubber bands to not only the fuselage but the winder. So you see me trying to twist this rubber band and when I do so to actually hook this rubber band back onto the fuselage I have to let go of some winds and that can be sort of inefficient. Now if you use an o-ring which are these little black elastic circles that stick onto your or that you can put onto your rubber band loop and those things allow you to easily unhook and hook your rubber band to the fuselage. So I recommend trying to use those if you have the ability to do so because it just makes the winding process that much easier. Alright, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. With that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Stand faced.